Well, good morning everyone. My name is Niall. I am the owner of Wolfborough and this is the first ever Wolf Vlog. So today I'm going to be taking a little day trip from Inverness and we're going to be going to what is known as the most beautiful town in Scotland. Big statement. Scotland is a beautiful country. My home country. I've been out of Scotland for the last seven, eight years in Canada. Um, and I'm back home to get my business launched over here. So just to give you a bit of background, the reason why I'm doing this vlog is I'm trying to encourage people to get outdoors, get moving and explore on a consistent basis. Hey guys! So that we can uh, improve mental health and physical health, but mainly mental health. There's a lot of people struggling these days and uh, I believe one of the best solutions is to uh, get moving on a consistent basis. So that's what Wolfborough is all about. Um, and today I'm just going to give you a little insight into my day, hopefully show you some cool things, maybe give you a bit of a knowledge and understanding of Plockton. And yeah, we're just going to wing it to be honest. This is the first ever vlog, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm running late for the train, so I'm going to have to put a wee jog on here. Um, but I'll touch back when I get to the train station. Peace! Oh, fucking running to make this train. Let's see if we're going to make it in true dial fashion. We're running late, but we're going to make it. Let's go. Made it. Just. Let's get a seat. Regroup. Right, made the train. Now to kick back, do a little bit of work and enjoy the scenery. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you some beautiful landscape on this journey. This is meant to be a beautiful, beautiful train journey. Um, just to remind you all, going from Inverness to Plockton. Um, and this is all up in the highlands of Scotland.
and I'm getting restless. I need to get off this train and explore. Um, I think it's only a few more minutes now. As you can see, very, very scenic. A bit cloudy, a wee bit overcast, but that is true Scottish weather. Um, hopefully, it doesn't rain, and we're in for a very, very nice afternoon. So, for about the last 20 minutes of the train journey, we've just been slowly winding around the lock. I think it's called Lock Garrick. And for everyone in the US and Canada, a lock is a lake in Scotland. Um, but yeah. over there, I might go that way. Joys of exploring. Ah, very nice. Look at that. Palm trees. Costa del Plankton. <laughs> Mate, how did I get to town that way? Aye, you go and that road. Excellent. Okay, thanks, sir. I'll be back. High school. We see you soon. So, a few interesting facts on Plockton. It's one of the only places, I think, the only place in Scotland that has palm trees. Very random, but I reckon in summer it's uh, beautiful when the sun's out. Um, oh, one thing, big thing for anyone who is thinking of visiting here um, in the summer months. I think even from like April until September time, we get a big problem with midges, which is basically like little mosquitoes, but very, very annoying. Um, very hard to, to avoid basically. And even if you have bug spray, it can still be a nightmare. And uh, yeah, I was told um, by a very good source that uh, in summertime the midges can be unbearable in Plotkin so that is something to remember and think about if you are going to come here it might be best to come here before the season gets into full swing Town centre this way sir? Town centre this way? Yep. Village centre yes Keep, Yes, village exactly okay thank you Have a good day Thanks 
That was funny. I said to the guy, town centre this way. He goes, village? I was like, alright, aye, same thing. Walking along here for just about five minutes from the train station and we have a little plaque here and it says open air church. So be ready not to go and see what the crack is. Oh here we go. Look at this. There must have been a church here back in the day, but no, nothing really here. Nice scenery though. I think well, we've, well, we've been to church. Uh, that'll do though. We'll uh, keep walking towards town or the village, should I say, and uh, see what we can find. So, some more facts for you. Lockton was formerly known as the town of the poor way way back in the day from the 1800s the reason for this is just the lack of resources um, due to the potato famine and also it was very well known for its uh, herring fishing or way back in the day but when the herring decided to migrate and take a different path there was really no uh, work for the fishermen or people in the town, so it became a bit desolate, hence the name Village of the Poor. There's a real church. Hello, boy. How you doing? Very, very quiet. Certainly no tourists here in December. Yeah, that's a nice, nice little pub. Might have to go there for my lunch. Another palm tree. Another palm tree. Costa del Plot, then I tell you. Yeah. Nice. The Haven. Misbehaving at the Haven. Look at that. Nice building. Let's see what we've got here. The fish bar. Fish and chips, that would do. Pretty hungry to be honest. Studio is closed. No arts and crafts. Here we go. What we got? So, tides out, I reckon I go over there, have a wee scope um, and see see what we can find. I believe this is Loch Garrick that we're looking out onto. So, let's, uh, let's head over there, see what we can find. I'm going to have to come back here in summer and just see how busy it is because I think it gets really really busy in summer very popular place for artists and people looking to escape the busyness Alright Not bad Let's see what's up here 
yep. I don't know if this island has a name. I'm pretty sure it will. Maybe should have researched that. But anyway, let's see what we can find up here. Here we go. Go, plucked and I know. I'd say it's a go. I'm going to try and hike up somewhere, maybe up there. I don't know how I would get there, but it'd be good to get up and get a viewpoint. Maybe up there, actually, behind those houses, might be a bit more accessible. But we'll uh, take a walk back down into the Sand here. I don't know where I'm walking. Jesus, look at that. Not seen anyone though. Spot a castle over there. That would be quite cool to check out, but I don't know if we'll have the time. We'll see though. Another palm tree. Good in the hotel. This is us on the main strip. I do not know what house prices are like here. I think they're probably pretty high just due to supply and demand. There's not a lot of houses here by the looks of things and it's very picturesque. So I'd say they would be commanding high prices. I'll check that out maybe on the train back. Nice wee bench there. After being in Canada so long, I'm really enjoying the, the history, the, the old buildings, the stonework, all the stuff that I used to take for granted when I lived in Scotland before. I actually just took Scotland for granted in total, but now that I'm back, it's, it feels good and I really want to, to explore as much as I can because Honestly, when I used to live in Scotland before, I'd always just go to the cities and things like that. We'd never really go up north at all. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to explore and take you on the journey. I'm not sure what we've got here. Shop. random stuff in this window. I think that's somebody's house. Probably shouldn't be peering in the window. I'll leave them to it. What's this? Nice wee garden here. I won't go in it. I might have just uh, nice enough. More palm trees. Very, very quiet. Not a soul around. Actually, as I say that, I see somebody. But everyone must be hibernating. Village Hall. Can't get into the end of the road. There we go. 
Rolls Royce. Nothing but the best. One day, baby, one day. Hi, boys. Is there much up this way? Aye, there's a lot. Aye, perfect. And you, know, you can go round to the left and back along the brae. Perfect. Ends up at the pub, funnily enough. Ah, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> That's what you started. Cheers. There we go. Nice walk up here, the man said. Look back round. Brings me down to the pub. Fortunately, I don't drink anymore. But I will be eating. So we'll uh, definitely have a stop in there and see what the story is. So on with this walk. Sun's starting to come out, I think. Go on. Just happy there's no rain. Bray track. This track is a public right of way for pedestrians. No unauthorised vehicles beyond this point. God, I don't care. Footpath down the street. I think this is where the man said to go. We'll try it. See where we end up. Zoomed her in, but you can see over there, great big castle. I need to find out the name of that. But apparently, the place is packed with sailboats in the summer. Very popular with people coming in here sailing and stopping off for the afternoon. So, we'll end we'll keep going. All right, pal. That's what we call a horse. I'm just joking, I know, you know what that is. There we go. I had a nice wee viewpoint here, I think. I'll park myself there for a minute. Very nice. Just decided to take a little seat on this bench. Rest my legs after that massive 10 minute walk. Just taking the scenery. Very, very nice. So quiet if I'm not talking. There we go. That's my wolf bag. You get that with my equipment kits and packages I'm not going to hit you with a hard sell too much especially in the first episode but I do have a business it is called Wolfborough and we specialize in at-home fitness equipment we provide free workouts free support and we're really just trying to get uh, people moving exercising on a consistent basis for the mental health benefits not just the obvious um, physical ones so that's kind of the mission that I am on and that's why I'm doing this so yeah it's what gets me gets me going gets me up bright and early as opposed to before my life where I was a bit of a waster uh, but we'll we'll save that for another episode plenty more to come um, but yeah it really really helps me getting in the outdoors and exploring and exercising on a consistent basis is just massive. I'm somebody who's got a lot of energy to burn. And I think people who have high anxiety and things like that, they, it's it's the energy levels. You need to tire yourself out sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's uh, good for the soul being out here. So I've had my little seat, my little chill, and we're back on the road. That was nice though. Very nice little spot. So the guy I spoke to before, he said there was a, a path down to the pub. But I think I've went too far. Because I think this just leads to someone's house. I 
Look at that though, I bet they've got a good view from those bedroom windows. That's the dream. Yeah. I wonder if I should go. We'll take a walk down here to see what we can find. Don't know if you get a good view of this here. Here, see where we end up. Definitely going the wrong way, or maybe not. Actually, we might just be coming back down towards the beginning of the town. There's the island that I was out at earlier on. Need to get the name of that. I think actually we'll be getting our way back down to the town. Pretty hard to get lost, the place is very small. The guy was right, it's definitely a village, it's not a it's not a town. Um, which is all good. Oh, we made it. Civilization. Oh yeah, I know where we are. There's the haven, misbehaving in the haven. Back in the village of Costa del Plockton. So, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna get a bite to eat. And I'll check in with you all soon. Here we are. Plockton Inn Bar. I'm gonna go in. Get a bite to eat. See where the crack is. Oh my god. I don't know if they like me filming in here, but we'll find out. Hey, hey pal, good, how are you? There's the inside of the pub. Very nice. I am the only person here. So it should be quick service. Let's have a look at this menu. That there. It's an iron brew for any of you North Americans. That is the most popular uh, fizzy drink, fizzy pop uh, in Scotland. It's actually, we are the only country where our local fizzy pop outsells Coca-Cola. So it's a, it's a big deal, delighted. We're in the pub. I'm gonna be speaking quietly just cause it's, I'm the only person in here. I don't want to, actually I probably can make as much noise as I want, but I just feel like I should talk quietly for some reason. I think it's, uh, Plotkin's very well known for its, uh, its fish, so I'm going to try the breaded haddock and chips. Personal favourite of mine. And we'll, uh, we'll score that out of ten, will we? Might actually hit up fish and chips every place I go and give a review, but maybe not. I do like steak pie as well, so we'll see. So I made a schoolboy error when I left today. I forgot to pack my phone charger, which is probably the most important thing when you're doing a vlog. So we'll live and learn. But luckily enough, the people in the pub at the Plockton Inn are very, very sound. And they sort me out for a phone charger. So not to worry. But I've got about three hours until the train back. So we're gonna have to fill up our time, but we've got to eat. We can maybe do a bit of work as well. And uh, yeah, just chill out. There we go. Dinner is served. Looks class. Breaded haddock and chips. Okay, so that's that for the plucked in in. Fish and chips was very, very good. We'll give it about a 7.5 out of 10 but yeah as you can see it's dark now got to rush back and make this uh train but uh nah successful day i uh ended up spending a bit longer in there than i thought i would um but i was able to start editing this video um, and do some emails so all good so back we go let's hope i don't get lost in the dark so then what do you think of Plockton? 
Is it the most picturesque town in Scotland? I'd say it's up there. I've got a few more to visit. But uh, yeah, really, really nice place. So um, if you have any recommendations, I don't know if you can even see me, it's so dark. If you have any recommendations on where I should go next, then hit me up in the comments section. This is the first ever wolf vlog. And uh, yeah, just uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, just tell your friends if you uh, if you liked it or not. If you didn't, then I wouldn't tell them. So they'll probably be annoyed at you for wasting their time because I'd say this video is going to be about 30 minutes long, which is pretty good for my first attempt. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm happy with that. Well, uh, plenty of room for improvement, I'm sure, as there always is. But uh, I'm giving it a go. We're going to see if uh, we get much of a response from this. And if not, that's that's quite all right. But uh, yeah, I'm having fun doing this, which is the main thing, you know, getting a bit out of my comfort zone, um, which is always a good thing. I was never one for talking on camera, um, but yeah, it's time. So we'll make the trip back, get this train back to Inverness. We'll call it an evening. So peace, everyone. I'll actually, I'll probably check back in. Uh, just before we get on the train. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I really, really, really appreciate it. And yeah, if you can like, comment and subscribe, tell your friends, that would be uh, mucho appreciated. Okay, peace everyone. Making my way. Oh, that's me at that open air church. I'd say if there was, if ghosts are real, I reckon they'd be about here. It's a bit spooky like, but I'm no scared. Maybe I'm just a little. Oh yeah, just remembered. Before in the video, I was saying that Clockden is situated on Loch Garrick, which is false. The good man in the pub, by the way, in the bar, was saying that it's actually Loch Caron. C-A-R-R-O-N, I believe, but I'll... I'll double check that. Um, but yeah, Loch Caron. And yeah, great spot. I would recommend Lockton, highly recommend it. If you're in Scotland, it's worth heading out this way. Um, you can actually include this in part of your journey of the NC500. And if you don't know what that is, you should. No, I'm just joking. But um, it's actually, it's a, it's a drive, a famous drive in Scotland, a very scenic drive that they only really started promoting properly, I think maybe five, ten years ago. But it's, uh, yeah, it's gotten really popular. People like that there's a set route and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of really uh, nice scenic spots. So if you're in Scotland, NC500, stop off at Plockdown and you'll, uh, you'll be right. Yeah, again, I think I might have left it a little bit late for the train, cutting it short. Hopefully I don't have to run, because I don't know if I've got it in me. I'm full of fish and chips and uh, iron brew, so we'll, uh, we'll have a very, very fast walk. I think I've got plenty of time, but I'd rather not uh, get stranded and plucked in tonight. Not that it'd be a bad thing, but I don't even know if I'd get a room. Well, I would get a room, I'm sure. Sure, it'd be fine. People at the at the pub were were friendly. I'm sure they'd point me in the right direction. But I get home, get to my own bed. That's the stuff. Made it to the station. Didn't even have to break a sweat. Too easy. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Well, at least I can't get on the wrong side of the platform because there only is one platform. I think. Or else I could be a bit screwed. More palm trees before we go. Clock then, you have been a delight. We'll give you a good old 8 out of 10. Peace. We made the train. See, I'm pretty tired. Gonna get a bit of shut eye. 
getting finished editing her, continue editing this video, first time ever editing videos for a vlog, so learning as I go, but uh, it's not actually been too difficult with the old uh, iMovie, so uh, yeah, this is the official send off, all the best everyone, cheers, take care.